nine gold medals. A poem written by David Lee Roth. It's based on an incident that took place in one of the Special Olympic. David Lee Roth was born in the year 1954. He was an American vocalist, songwriter, author, radio personality, soloist, a singer in the famous hard rock band Van Halen. The poem Nine Gold Medals is a story, is a poignant record of an incident that took place in the Special Olympics when differently abled contestants set off for a hundred meter race, that being the final event of the day. Spectators gathered to cheer all the participants. There was lot of excitement. The athletes took their position for the race and waited for the signal to start the race. The race was started as the signal was given. But soon after the race begins, one of the contestants has a sharp fall and lies on the track, crying out in pain and losing all hope of every winning the medal for which he had trained so hard. He felt as if his training had been wasted. But to everyone's surprise, the other eight athletes stopped right away and turned back to help the fallen one. All the nine athletes held their hands together and continued to walk to the finishing line. The race ended with all of them winning a gold medal. The smiling faces of the nine runners and the banner above brightly portrayed the spirit of sportsmanship. The banner above them read Special Olympics. Now, gold medal was given to all in recognition of this display of great human compassion. All of them were winners. The poem celebrates the spirit of care and compassion. What the world needs today is not more competition but more cooperation and collaboration. Now let's go straight into the poem itself. The athletes had come from so many countries to run for the gold, for the silver and bronze. Many weeks and months in training all building up to the game. All around the field spectators were gathered, cheering on all the young women and men. Then the final event of the day was approaching. The last race about to begin. The loudspeakers called out the names of the runners, the 100 meters the race to run. The nine young athletes stood there determined and poised for the sound of the gun. The signal was given and the pistol exploded and so did 
the runners on hearing the sound but the youngest among them stumbled and staggered and he fell on his face on his knees to the ground he gawed at pai of frustration and anguish his dreams and his efforts dashed in the dirt but as sure as i am standing here telling the story now it is a strange one but here is what occurred the eight other athletes stopped in their track the one who had trained for so long to compete one by one the returned round came back to help him and lifted the lad to his feet then all nine runners joined hands and continued the 100 meters reduced to a walk and the banner above that said special olympics could not have been nearer the mark this is how the race ended with nine gold medals they came to the finishing line holding hands still and the banner above and nine smiling faces still more than these words ever will said more than these words our will let's go to some of the word meanings athlete means sports persons many weeks and months meaning a for a long time building up means gearing up spectators viewers audience cheering means encouraging approaching means coming closer poised means ready balanced with full concentration pistol a starting pistol used to signal the start of the race exploded means burst with a loud noise stumbled hit one's foot on something while running that made one fall or almost to fall staggered means lost balance or become unsteady frustration hopeless situation the feeling of annoyance when one's actions are hindered anguish extreme suffering grief agony dashed ruined destroyed torn apart occurred happened tracks racing tracks on which runners run turned around to physically rotate for a half turn lad boy lifted the lad to his feet raised the boy to his feet made him to stand joined hands held each other's hands reduced made less than a run nine smiling faces nine happy athletes now let's go to the stanza one of this poem the athletes had come from so many countries to run for the gold for the silver and bronze many weeks and months in training all building up to the game this stanza talks about the 
international athletics events for specially abled people athletes have come from many countries all over the world to take part in the special olympics they were there to compete for medals gold silver bronze they have gone through strain of training for months to participate in the events with high hopes and dreams of winning the medal each of them came there to win a medal in the games all round the field spectators were gathered cheering on all the young women and men then the final event of the day was approaching the last race about to begin this stanza talks about the viewers who have gathered around the ground in large numbers they were there to cheer all the participants the differently abled young men and women who were taking part in the various events they cheered and enjoyed throughout the day now it was time for the final event of the day it was a running race people were eagerly waiting for this event to begin so here we see the first stanza athletes are coming from various countries after undergoing so many trainings all of them are expecting a gold a silver bronze and they are ready for this event that event happened to be the final event of that particular day let's go to the next stanza the loud speakers called out the names of the runners the 100 meters the run the race to run and nine young athletes stood there determined and poised for the sound of the gun the names of the athletes were called out through loud speakers for the 100 meters race young athletes nine of them lined up for the race at the starting line they were determined to win the medal they remained fully concentrated on the sound of the gun to begin the race they were fully ready for the race they were waiting for pistol sound to start the race and the next stanza says the signal was given the pistol exploded and so did the runners on hearing the sound but the youngest among them stumbled and staggered and he fell on his knees to the ground as soon as the pistol was fired the contestants started their run all the runners charged ahead along with their respective tracks or along the their respective tracks but suddenly there occurred an unexpected unexpected thing unusual thing the youngest one hit his leg on something and probably lost his balance and fell on his knees to the ground 
coming to the next stanza, we see he gave out a cry of frustration and anguish. His dreams and his efforts dashed in the dirt. But as sure as I am standing here telling the story, now it is a strange one. But here is what occurred. Nothing could be more frustrating for a differently abled adult. For such, especially after such tough training, the moment he fell, he knew all his dreams, hopes and efforts were frustrated, dusted out. Gone. His pain and disappointment made him give out a cry. He cried out in pain and frustration. He got disappointed. He felt his dreams crumbling down. His hope of getting a medal was shattered in a second. His whole effort ruined and he remained torn apart. But this was not the end. What happened was, what happened after was something really strange and unusual. The poet narrates what happened, the rest of the poem, which becomes the climax first part of the climax of the poem. Let's listen. The eight other athletes stopped in their tracks. The one who had trained so long to compete. One by one, they turned around and came back to help him and lifted the lad to his feet. Though all of them had trained for a long time, to compete, the win a medal. All of them were expecting a medal, but the sight of the fall of one athlete changed their minds. They all came back one by one. They stopped their running and came to the aid of the fallen one. They lifted him up, they made him stand on his feet. And the next stanza says, Then all nine runners joined their hands and continued. The 100 meters reduced to a walk and the banners banner above that said Special Olympics could not have been nearer the mark. The nine athletes joined their hands and walked to the finishing line together. The race that was meant for running was reduced to a walk to the finishing line. But still it was special for a great display of human compassion, cooperation and sportsman spirit. It could not have been more special in any way. The banner above them read Special Olympics, which was appropriate as the contestants' behavior added to the uniqueness of the event. The act of these runners could not have been any greater to make it Special Olympic. It was an outstanding display of humanness. Next stanza says, This is how the race entered with nine gold medals. They came to the finishing line holding hands still. The banner above and nine smiling faces said more than these words ever will. Said more than these words ever will. 
presented with nine gold medals for the same event. All the runners came to the finishing line holding each other's hands. Each one was awarded with a gold medal. They deserve it for their splendid show of compassion and kindness. The poet concludes the poem referring back to the banner in which which reads Special Olympics. They stood in smiling faces under the banner that declared Special Olympic. Those smiling faces touched the heart of everyone present there. It delivered something special, a great feeling and a great lesson. This mere poem is not enough to express it. It was beyond words. They spoke more than what is written on the banner. Their behavior makes it exceptionally special. The boy repeats the last line saying for emphasis on the greatness of the runners as well as to salute them. Dear friends, that's all for today. Hope to see you with you the second part. The second part of this video, of the video, I will be giving you a critical analysis of this poem.